seashells, algae, and the occasional piece of driftwood are nearly unavoidable on a beach. However, an unexploded bomb, hundreds of plastic eggs, and brand new motorcycles would not be expected to litter the sands. Keep a lookout the next time you're at the beach since strange objects wash up on beaches all around the world. Number 10, a life bomb. A family was picnicking at Barry Port in Wales when their two young children noticed something washing up on the beach. It was a round metal ball with barnacles on it and they thought nothing of it until the kids investigated and discovered it was a life bomb after the barnacle started to fall away. The beach was evacuated and the bomb was detonated in a controlled setting by someone who had seen their family portrait online. Number 9, Baby Grand Piano. Have you ever threatened to toss your neighbor's musical instrument from the highest possible vantage point in order to obtain some much needed attention? In most cases, it's a threat, but has someone finally followed through? Someone walking along the Manhattan side of the East River came across a baby grand piano underneath the Brooklyn Bridge, of all places to find a piano. Some people were quick to call it a viral marketing campaign, but for what purpose others think it could be a prank people rushed out in droves to photograph it and even try to play it once it went viral. This baby grand piano isn't the first one that has washed up on a beach. It turns out that two neighbors don't like it when their neighbors play loud instruments late at night, and a second burned piano was discovered in Biscayne Bay in Miami, Florida a few years ago. Number 8, Giant Eyeball. It's not every day that you stumble across a fish on the beach, and it's extremely rare to come across a major body part from one. Coma was wandering around Pampano Beach, Florida, when he came across a massive eyeball that was unmistakably in the shape of an eyeball, but no one knew from what creature it came. He promptly handed the eye over to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, who then sent it to the St. Petersburg Fish and Wildlife Research Institute in Florida, where genetic testing would reveal from which critter it came. A large fish sucking 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 a large fish phone around the eye ruled out a squid, and if it did come from a fish, it was most certainly a monster. Number 7, Snowballs. Most children who grew up with white Christmases are familiar with the snowman building process. Cup some snow in your little mitten hands, roll it into a ball, and gently push it along the ground until it gathers more snow. Before you know it, you've got three round balls ready to stack on top of each other for the perfect snowman. This mechanism is what caused thousands of natural snowballs to end up in northwest Siberia's Gulf of AAB. Strange but cool, roughly 11 miles of the coastline was covered in snowy and frozen balls up to 3 feet in diameter, which began as small shards of ice as a result of the wind and water, they rolled into massive snowballs. Locals in the nearby village of Nita, which is located above the Arctic Circle, were stunned by what they witnessed, as it is a rare and practically unheard of environmental phenomena. Sirka Lisenkov, press secretary of the Arctic and Antarctic Research Institute, explained that forming balls likely sludge or slab ice is a natural process that requires the correct kind of wind and temperature conditions to cause it to flow. Number 6, San Francisco Tombstones. Cities can grow at breakneck speed, necessitating drastic changes to accommodate newcomers. A prime example of how drastic those changes can be is the relocation of cemeteries throughout central San Francisco in the 1920s and 1930s, when many central city cemeteries were relocated to make way for shopping centers, housing developments, and more. One of the projects was to reinforce the ocean beach seawall. It's not uncommon for random tombstones to be unearthed along the seashore when heavy winds move sands. This is an unusual picture to the untrained eye, but not if you know the story behind it. When multiple tombstones were unearthed on the beach in 2014, some of them totally intact, it disturbed many people. It has happened before, and it will happen again, according to a San Francisco historian. The sands cover them up, the tombstones are unearthed, and the tombstones make the news once more, demonstrating how fast we forget a little unusual number 5, human ghost pipes. Those seeking a sunkest look on British beaches were in for a rude awakening in 2017 when instead of sun, sand, and sea creatures, they were greeted by four massive plastic pipes measuring between 656 and 1575 feet in length, according to the UK's Maritime and Coast Guard Agency. The large plastic tubes were bought as part of a major project in Algeria and were being towed back to the UK even though the pipes were large and unsightly, they did not pose a pollution risk, thus they were refloated and returned to their original manufacturers. Number 4, World War II Love Letters. After Hurricane Sandy in 2012, a 14-year-old boy found love letters washed up on a beach in New Jersey by his mother Kathleen Caney. 
Patrick and his mother Kathleen Kaney were walking along the beach when Patrick spotted a box tied with a written in the box for 57 love letters between Dorothy Fallon and Lynn Farmer between 1942 and 1945 the letters in front of the fireplace. Number 3, 80 million year old dinosaur thigh bone. Consider a world where dinosaurs reign supreme. Scientists were looking for marine invertebrates and fossilized animals in the San Juan Islands, not far from Seattle, when they stumbled across a fossilized bone in a marine rock in 2012. They immediately contacted University of Washington paleontologists and a team was sent out to excavate the fossil. Given the hairs, 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 when they turned the bone over, they discovered it to be a thigh bone from a meat eating to a dinosaur like a T-Rex. Experts assume the dinosaur died near the sea, was washed around in the wake, and eventually settled among the clams, based on the location of the bone. Number 2, Ancient Megalodon Tooth. There was a possible sighting of an entire megalodon washing up on an Australian beach, but there was also another discovery of a single megalodon tooth. A shark-obsessed seven-year-old boy was out searching for shark teeth on Myrtle Beach in South Carolina, something his family did every year while vacationing there. When Foster Frazier cleaned the object off in the water, he realized he had come upon something unusual. What had appeared to be a rock was now claiming a big tooth. Regular shark teeth can be up to 4 inches long, while megalodons can be over 5 inches long. According to Hephaestus' mother he was the perfect youngster to locate the tooth, because he enjoys reading about megalodon, wears sharp themed apparel, and has expressed that he would like to find a megalodon tooth one day. The tooth is millions of years old and is presently on exhibit at the Riverfront Museum in Peer area, Illinois, on the Lucky Day in 2016. Number 1, Garfield Phones. Locals in France around the Eros coast of Brittany have been dealing with pieces of orange plastic washing up on their beaches for nearly four decades. All parts have a common theme. They all come from the 1980s Garfield phones, which were all the rage at the time but are no longer, and locals were growing weary of the plastic contamination after an anti-litter marketing effort involving the plastic got the attention of a farmer, who was able to pinpoint where he had spotted one of the phones in a storm in the 1980s. The mystery was ultimately solved in 2019. Given the container's location and how its body was constructed given the container's location and how its body was constructed given the container's location and how its body was constructed given the container's location and how it was constructed given the container's location and how it was constructed given the container's location and how it was constructed given the container's location and how it was constructed given the container's location and how it was constructed given the container's location and how it was constructed given the container's location and how it was constructed given the container's location and how it was constructed Constructed given the container's location and the next time you go to the beach, you'll definitely want to bring a metal detector and a camera because there are some strange objects waiting to be uncovered. What strange items have you discovered on beaches? Also, check out our rather amazing stuff that is currently displayed on screen, and we'll see you next time.